to write QML code that is compatible with Qt versions 5 and 6 isn't always possible. If you must support four versions, here's how you could achieve that. In your QML code, make sure all your imports have a version number. Use the version of the module that was shipped with Qt 5.15. For most modules, that number ends in .15, but there are exceptions to that, ending in smaller numbers. Some modules were removed in Qt 6.0 and reintroduced later with a different API. To make use of both, you must abstract each with a custom component. My advice is that your components replicate the behavior of Qt6's API. You'll also need to modify your CMake code to work with both versions. For that, you must specify this line before any other CMake find instruction. This tells CMake to load the core library from either Qt5 or Qt6. Then you'll use Qt version mayor to indicate the Qt version to other find instructions in your CMake code. You can force use of one version or the other by specifying a CMake prefix that points to a folder with a single Qt install. The rest is doing some of the changes that you will normally do when importing other Qt code bases to Qt6, such as using the macro syntax for exposing C++ elements to QML, addressing all the warnings, changing Q vectors for Q lists, replacing APIs deprecated in Qt5 with your Qt6 counterparts, and modernizing graphics code, such as code that involves OpenGL, shaders, and the scene graph. Having said all that, we're now approaching May 26, 2025, meaning that Qt is nearing its end of support date. So we probably shouldn't be talking about supporting both Qt5 and Qt6. Anyways, if you happen to need help porting code over, just send us an email. We're happy to assist.